Today we'll take a look at the Snug Gradient strategy available in Atlas Copco's Power Focus 4000 controller. Snug Gradient is typically used when driving screws into parts with an inconsistent hole size, such as those made out of injection molded plastic or wood. Snug Gradient allows us to compensate for inconsistencies in the hole size and subsequently the amount of torque required to seat the screw. Let's take a look at how it works. Looking at an example torque curve, when driving to a target torque, if the size of the hole is slightly larger than the design spec, attempting to reach target torque will often result in a stripped hole. Similarly, if the size of the hole is slightly smaller than the design spec, torque will be reached before clamp load is achieved in the joint. Now let's take a look at how using the Snug Gradient strategy from Atlas Copco can help address this issue. When using the Snug Gradient strategy, the Power Focus 4000 from Atlas Copco combats inconsistency by monitoring the slope of the torque trace. When programming Snug Gradient, a monitoring interval and delta torque value are entered. The Power Focus 4000 will watch for the specified change in torque in every monitor interval. When the required delta torque is seen in two consecutive intervals, the Power Focus 4000 will set the snug point of the fastening at the beginning of the first interval. From the snug point, the tool rotate a set number of degrees to achieve clamp load in the joint. In this demonstration, we have a test block of soft plastic material with three different hole sizes, a standard hole, an undersized, and an oversized hole. First, let's see what happens when we run a standard torque strategy. With the standard size hole, the torque strategy achieves torque with no problems. Now let's see the results when we run that strategy on the undersized hole. In this case, while we achieved torque, the screw never seated in the material because of the undersized hole. Finally, let's use our torque strategy on the oversized hole. When attempting to complete the fastening this time, the hole strips before we are ever able to get to torque. Now let's run the same screws using Snug Gradient. First, the standard hole. Then, the undersized hole. And finally, the oversized hole. By using the Snug Gradient strategy in the Power Focus 4000, we're now able to achieve clamp load in all three of these conditions, despite the variations in the size of the hole. 